Okay, let's look at exercise two together. Ross has a jar with pennies and dimes in it. The ratio of pennies to dimes is three to one. If there are a total of 28 coins in the jar, how many more pennies are there than dimes? Use the table below to help. The table to the side, I think is what they mean. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back and just carefully analyze what the information that I'm given. That's the ratio of pennies to dimes is three to one. So I'm gonna write that pennies to dimes, P to D, is three, two, one. And the word two, we just write a colon for. So um, I'm gonna start using this table over here. And you can see in this case, now we're going by row. So each row goes together. So I can use these numbers here to start with. So three pennies, one dime, how many total coins? You fill this out now. So we know that's gonna be a four. All right, so here's our original row. And now every time we go to a new row, it's gonna be a multiple of some other row. So let's do a times two to get to the second one. So fill this out. We're gonna just double all of these numbers. So three times two, we have six pennies, two dimes, and six plus two is eight. You could do four times two, or you could simply add these and say, hey, that's eight. Okay, so now let's do a times three row right here. So three times three is nine. One times three is three, and that's 12. Okay, so fill this out until you can get to 28. Or you could say, hey, what, what multiple here is gonna give me 28? So four, eight, 12. We're going by fours here, aren't we? So 16, 20, 24. 28. That's really the row that we want, isn't it? So I could say, well, how do I get from 4 to 28? 4 times what is 28? And if you know your times tables, you know that's 4 times 7. So this row here is a 7 times the first row. So let's put a times 7 there. So the number of pennies will be 3 times 7, that's 21. Number of dimes, one times seven, that's seven. And there we go, that's the information we're looking for. So the number of pennies, 21. Number of dimes, seven. But now go back and reread the question because look at what they're asking us. How many more pennies are there than dimes? So there are 21 pennies and seven dimes. That means there are 14 more pennies than dimes.